cute, right? Yeah. And now we can be warm and... Just coming up a little bit short. Oh, all right. <laughs> Might be the so first you... mermaid to be done for gross <clears throat> indecency. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, John. for the rocks. It's a health and safety nightmare. <laughs> this is Shakespeare's actually chewed pencil. <laughs> it's so chewed, I can't tell whether it's to be or not to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, we got pissed up on Sunday afternoon right. and uh, <laughs> found a soldering iron. And uh, we built that. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with uh, some natty features, like it's, uh, it's got a pocket with a naan bread in it. <laughs> Like, like robots, yeah. yeah. Like robots. Uh, it's do. got retractable salad servers. <laughs> <laughs> that is really troubling to watch. <laughs> Why is it so slow? And just above the buttocks, there's a, a fold down guess who board. John. <laughs> I've seen this show before. Right. And it goes on a bit. <laughs> and I thought, in case it goes on too long, I would just bring along a television <laughs> show. <laughs> my own shows during the filming. So, let's watch a little bit of the one show. <laughs> Carry on. Can you turn the volume up, David? <laughs> 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 Romish, have you got a mascot this evening? What have you brought? I do have a mascot. It is, uh, it's actually my mother's voting slip. What now? Because <laughs> I don't trust that woman. <laughs> <laughs> to make the right decision. So I just thought, take the power away from her, she don't deserve it. <laughs> but paperwork's all illegal anyway, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> no, I came, I, came, I went round her house one day, she's watching Loose Women, and she said, do you know what? They're making some really good points. And I thought, this bitch can't vote. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's <laughs> no Joe, do you have a mascot? Uh, yeah, I do, but uh, it's a little bit embarrassing, my one. It's, um, <laughs> I basically, when I was little, I had a doll. Um, and I loved that doll, and I took it everywhere with me. So, basically, I brought my do doll along. <laughs> this, um, doll I had as a kid. Yeah, this, this is the doll I had when I was a toddler. Her name's Tiffany. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we went everywhere together. Uh, is, that, is that not a sex doll? What's wrong with you? No. <laughs> You're a pervert, mate. It's a kid's doll. <laughs> right, John, hold that, right? I don't oh. really want to touch it, just... to be honest. <laughs> She's just a little doll, mate. You think you had a... that when you were a child? Yeah, I got it as a christening present. <laughs> Squidgy, squidgy. <laughs> it's a lovely dolly. Uh, and it's just a photo of my dad because he's um, he's a sweet weirdo. And um, this is a photo of him, but the game is to guess how old he is in this photo. I'm going, that's him age 15. Yeah, that's him age 45. Guys, he's 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh. I don't want to be rude. But he, is he a vampire? Like... <laughs> he does look incredibly like the son from The Monsters. <laughs> this is the bit of the show where we slag off your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen a better cheese board? It'd be a crime to eat any of that cheese. <laughs> and a lot of people arrange cheese boards in different ways. Some people do it in the region, some people do it from hard cheese to soft cheeses. I've done my cheese board politically. <laughs> So we've got some uh, uh, Manchego there. We've got some uh, uh, Comte from France. We've got some Dolce Latte from Italy. We've got some Dutch Gouda there. And from England, we've got some cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheese-based Brexit joke. <laughs> oh, that was. I'm going to read you the story of Cyril the Screw. That's lovely. This is Cyril. 
He's a prison officer. He likes his job. He drives his prison van from the court to jail. And he's very proud of his prison van. <laughs> Cyril's best friend is a spider called <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Frank goes round the van, listening to the prisoners. Must stop being so naughty. <laughs> Blooming DNA. <laughs> <laughs> As Cyril drives the naughty people to prison, he likes to point out places that might be of interest. Look, lads, at the Red Lion, you can have a pie and a pint for £5.75. <laughs> well, I can. <laughs> <laughs> One day, he saw that Mrs Boggins, the postmistress, was waving at him from the side of the road. Her car had broken down. I'd better pull over and help her, he thought. But it wasn't Mrs Boggins, was it? No, she was tied up in the boot. <laughs> it was one of the gang with a wig on. Ooh. As soon as Cyril got out of the van, they punched him so hard he landed upside down in a blackberry bush. <laughs> His little legs wiggling to get free. <laughs> they jumped into the van and drove off with all the prisoners cheering. But Frank, the clever spider, crawled into the back of the sat-nav and it took them to prison anyway. <laughs> a very, very, very special mascot that used to belong to my great-uncle Harold. He lives in Wales and... Not you as well. <laughs> my great-uncle Harold was Welsh and this is um, from his farm house. Oh, and I used, didn't know his... He, was, he used to call him Mr Apples. Um, Why did he call him Mr Apples? When because he's holding eggs? a little basket of apples. Oh, I thought they were eggs. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Actually, maybe they're eggs. Maybe they're eggs. <laughs> and then... My uncle died, and then I got to keep him. And really, do you want to see? Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's really <laughs> He's I, I kind of. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. So this is actually uh, it cost me a lot of money on eBay, um, and this is some of the Duchess of Cambridge, or um, Kate Middleton as she then was, mm -hmm. some of her toenail clippings. <laughs> and there we go. You see, there's a little toenail clipping of. Oh, very, know. very royal person there. That's, what do you mean, uh? <laughs> How do you know they're genuine? Uh, uh, well, I mean, uh, they cost me £25,000. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just not... That can't be ordinary ones, can it? That's, that's definitely from her. <laughs> the, the great thing about these is <laughs> as DNA technology advances, what I have in here is her DNA code, oh. which means that in the years to come, I will be able to make another one. <laughs> but then she will have no rights in law. She'll just be my creature. <laughs> and now it's just the clippings in the tin. <laughs> um, I've written an erotic novel <laughs> based on my own life. <laughs> oh, um, God. It's called Deep Clean. Do you want to hear some? I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of erotic fiction. All down the street, they could hear the screaming coming from the bathroom. Harder, harder, she cried. You'll never shift that lime scale like that. <laughs> In the dimly lit bathroom, he stood naked, except for his clothes. <laughs> Holding in his hand his pulsating wet toothbrush. All clean, he declared, scuttling into the bedroom. That smells nice, she purred as he emptied the bottle into his hands and began massaging the soft flesh of her shoulders. Good, he said, and it's also killing 99.9% .9 of all the bacteria on your back. Good old Carex. You haven't, you haven't written this, you've remembered it, haven't you? <laughs> When he'd finished, he stripped off slowly, making two neat piles of light and darks. <laughs> Are you going to tie me up, she asked. No, he laughed sarcastically. I'm going to let you wander around the house willy-nilly while I'm trying to do the hoovering. <laughs> Rachel, if a train leaves Manchester for London at a speed of 30 metres per second at 12.20pm and another train leaves Birmingham for Newcastle at a speed of 45 metres per second half an hour later, will you go out with me? 